Cement is not our problem. Our problem is rice, garlic, yam, plantain, Herum, and those, bread. And, and, and even, no, no, even no, those no, let, 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 me, let, me, let me make you understand. Right. Eh? Now, who chop go think of shelter? Yes. So but, let's look at the fact that food sufficiency has become an emergency. Absolutely. You've so already, how do we fix that? You've already laid um, the, the foundation of um, even what is even concerning you uh, is that the government has now said it's going to release grain reserves now, you know, to, to, feed, to feed the people. If, if you don't Those know, reserves have to be restocked, if, you if know. If you don't know of any other, you know, pointer to the emergency on our hands, that, that might just be the pointer. But, you know, security is still the problem because people say we have these things in, in abundance. We have what it takes to feed the country, but... Um, the farms, uh, the, the state, the security of farmers, you know, going out to farm uh, for daily living and indeed to feed the country is, you know, still a big worry. Yes, yeah, so I, I said this in an interview in another station um, two weeks ago. I said, I said, when you're talking of ease of doing business, security is a key indicator to the ease of doing business, right? The fact that you do not have a system in place where there is some semblance of um, security to move around creates a problem. Right. Remember, we have three key issues when it comes to the agricultural supply chain. You have security, you have um, the logistic infrastructure, and you have road network. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, government must now attack these issues intentionally. And I use the word intentionally. You cannot continue to do things in a particular way. So let's attack it intentionally. Security must now be beefed up in the food uh, major spots, right? Or what you can call the melting pots mm -hmm. of our food production in this country to create that buffer, that security buffer for them so that farmers can go to farm, right? So that we can produce more and then supply. The next thing is to fix the agricultural supply chain. I do not understand why we don't have a dedicated rail system from these major food hubs to the uh, strategic markets. And until we do these things, you will continue to have road transport workers profit off the, challenge, the, 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 the infrastructure challenge we have. And they tell you, oh, it cost me X, Y, Z to bring in a truck of food. So that has the ripple effect has to go down. Go to these the food points. What you will see is that the price has not astronomically gone up. Maybe a little increase here and there. But it is that supply chain that continues to cut deep into the actual end user price. So fix that supply chain. Let's have, you know, that real. Why can't we have a rail from Taraba bringing yams straight to Abuja, straight to Portacourt, Lagos, Aba, and the likes, and back? Why can't we have tomatoes from Kanu? Until these things are done, we would be cherry picking the solutions. Mm. Road network, we have over 200,000 kilometers of roads, only barely 60,000 are Arab. Uh, so, are uh, 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 good enough for movement. That's not even up to 